Chain Reaction Training Combat Strength and Conditioning by Ernest Emerson Chapter 1 Fall in Love with the Process of Becoming Great Welcome to the world of combat strength and fitness. It is a world where optimal fitness and functional strength are not for the sake of fitness or strength alone. To a soldier, they are tools, weapons, just as a helmet, body armor, knife, and rifle are tools and weapons. Like those tools, combat strength and fitness are just as necessary to save your life in combat. Since you know that you must keep your gear and weapons in top working order, so it is also with your fitness and strength. I could give you a million reasons why you need fitness to survive in combat, and another million reasons why you need strength to survive in combat. But I'm going to tell you it's not the obvious reasons that I know you're thinking about. I'm going to kick some bad guy's ass. I want you to think about this. What if you had to run a quarter mile to tear one of your teammates out of a down helo, then hoist him onto your back and carry him a quarter mile back to cover? Could you do that? Can you do that? If I was the guy in the down helo, I surely hope you could. So now you're telling me you're not a soldier, a cop, or a fireman. Why do you need this high degree of elite warrior's fitness? Honestly, I don't know why you would need it, but I'll tell you why I need it. And that's because in an emergency, a fight, or to protect my loved ones, I would have it. If I were to fail, it would not because I ran out of steam. The ability to survive in combat or any emergency situation is governed by your ability to control as many factors as possible in an out-of-control situation. Training in the skills of such things as marksmanship and all the other combat-related skills allow you to have as much control as you can rest through the practice of those skills prior to having to use them in actual combat. You should look at physical conditioning as a requisite skill that you can always count on and should never be a factor that would fail you in a time of need. Hard physical training, and I mean real hard, gut-wrenching, sweat-dripping training, is a learning experience. This isn't just about being in shape. You can join a local fitness center, work a couple of weight machines, and jump on an elliptical for 15 minutes. You may get in shape according to the average standard, but it's not going to be a learning experience. What do I mean by that? First off, I don't want to be average, and the average man never knows how far he can really go. When you push yourself to your limit, only to realize that you're only halfway through the training session, you're about to learn a lot about yourself. Am I a quitter? Is this really all I've got? Really? Am I average? You have to answer those questions for yourself. Your answers will reveal a lot to you about yourself. And it will teach you things you cannot learn until you actually face them. For example, how will you ever know whether you are a quitter or not until you face a situation where you think you can't go on? Not one inch further. A place where you can either give up and quit or reach deep down inside within and push on. Are you a quitter? Honestly, are you a quitter? How would you know? I'll tell you something. Every single candidate who starts BUDS SEAL training would tell you that he is not a quitter. Yet, out of the 150 plus students that start every BUDS class, about 100 quit every time. And these are guys who knew that they wanted to be a Navy SEAL since they were 12 years old. So in order to find yourself and your limits, you have to push harder than you have ever pushed yourself before. And then you have to push harder still. There's more. Once you've pushed past your quitting point and realized that now that limit is gone, gone forever, you know that you can go further than you thought you could. And it feels great. Breaking these barriers is the first step in learning that there really are no barriers, that all of your limits are self-imposed. You'll learn that if you set the limit, then hell yes, you can break the limit. 
When you believe, truly believe that you have no limits, the world opens its doors up for you. That's when you realize that you can do anything you set your mind on doing. Anything. You are anything but average. A friend of mine told me once, Ernest, the world is run by C students. I'm going to ask you this. Do you want to be just a C student? Or do you want to be a B or maybe an A student? Did you answer yes to that question? Not me. I said no. I want to be a triple AAA plus 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 student. Being good at something is one thing. Being great at something requires several essential elements. Extreme goals, extreme efforts, and extreme confidence. It's about developing habits, good habits, not bad habits. Developing the habit of never settling for anything less than excellence. The habit of never quitting and the habit of never, ever giving up. There are few ways on earth to learn these things and develop these habits better than through extreme physical training. The elite military units also know this. Part of the reason that Navy SEAL training is so tough is to take the candidates beyond their physical limits. It then tests their will to continue, the resolve to never quit. Because if you quit in training, how could you ever be trusted to not quit in combat? One of the other reasons is to stress your body and mind by using grueling physical workouts and then creating a situation where you are forced to face a decision-making process. This will tell you how well you can make decisions while under stress and the pain of physical exhaustion. And another reason, of course, is to build you into one of the most physically fit human beings on earth. Functional combat fitness is again a necessary ingredient for actual combat. If you run out of steam, your mission will fail, or you or your teammates will be killed. Legendary Green Bay Packers coach Vince Lombardi once said, Fatigue makes cowards of us all. And if you are a member of a SEAL team, you don't want to be that guy. Along with this elite physical fitness is the building of supreme confidence, knowing you are better than the rest. When you are sending a warrior into combat, confidence is an absolute requirement. If you would like to purchase the book, Chain Reaction Training, Combat Strength and Conditioning by Ernest Emerson, go to the website www.theguardianshepherd.com. You will also find more downloads, articles, books, DVDs, seminars, and training tips. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Ernest Emerson's Guardian Shepherd. Thank you for listening.